Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've got a beer that's been brewed by the head brewer of Gotland's Brewery in Sweden. His name is Johan Spendrup. I hope I got that right. And this is a bottle of his Wisby Weiss, or Visby Weiss, as I should say. There you go. A vice beer that looks like it's got 55% of something. Um, not sure if that's wheat or malt. Probably malt. It's 5.2% ABV. There's the lovely Gotland's Brewery bottle cap there. Let's, let's get this beer open into a glass and see what we get. Loads of smoke. I was expecting a bit of a kind of a overpour on that one. Wow. Look at that. Now, for me to kill time with this and for you to put a comment in the comments box, somebody told me, it was a good friend and a fellow beer reviewer, told me that if you kind of rinse out with cold water a vice beer glass. This won't happen. Is it true? Is it false? Is that person barking up the wrong tree? Is he completely right? Answer in the comments box. Because with a vice beer, this can happen. Wow, well, you all know it can happen so easily. Um, for me to now kind of get my nose into this. I'm going to have to get a little sniff the glass and just put a drop in very carefully. There we go. Let's show you the colour. Looks like a classic vice beer. Loads of kind of fizzing, almost violent carbonation. Small one finger head. Get a nose on the beer then. Oh yes, 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 loads of that. Lovely banana, that spicy banana. Almost, it's like a banana candy, them little banana spongy sweets you get. It's lovely stuff. All coming from the yeast. Mmm, that just smells so good. It smells so good, I'm going to leave my Hefeweizen glass there full of froth and I'm going to dig into this small little glass of their Visby Vice here. Oh. And in the taste, it's full on. That is a full on Vice beard. It's, it's, it's clove, big clove big spices and big banana. Um, I've got nothing but good things to say about Gotland's Brewery to be honest. Um, I know they're a large establishment, I know they're quite a big brewery, but for such a large brewery to produce beers of this quality and the diversity as well. I reviewed just last weekend, I reviewed a Belgian beer by them, Klosterol. Um, I reviewed a lovely stout called Wisby or Wisby Stout. Lovely stuff. Um, sitting Bulldog IPA. Great stuff. Um, I've got to review their pale ale, but I reviewed the other bottle of got sent to me. Oh, sorry, I drank the other bottle of got sent to me, and it was lovely. But the reviews to come on that one. But now we're over to kind of Germany. Okay, they're going to say, right, we'll do an American style. American style IPA. Right, there's America done. We'll do a British style pale ale. There's British done. Britain done. We'll do Germany next. We'll do a vice beer. We'll do Belgium with a cholesterol. We'll do a nice Swedish stout from, from Sweden. It's, it's a worldwide kind of range or style of beer that they do. It's, it's great stuff. That's lovely. It's it's so drinkable. 5.2% ABV. Yeah, it 
it's it's lovely and drinkable, lovely and fresh, it's lovely and yeasty, and I don't care if a brewery's that big or if a brewery's that big. I really don't care. It's about beer in the glass. I've reviewed a beer tonight from a British brewery, a big brewery, and it was stinking. It was it was horrible, and it, but it was a you know it was a so-called fresh beer. It was in date. Um, a bit of an ale company. They've lost their way, and I'm not scared to say it's an awful beer. As I would if if this was an awful beer, I'd say so. It's from a large company, but as I just said, I don't care if the company's this big or if it's this big. If the brewery's brewing great beer, then it doesn't matter. Some of these microbreweries that started brewing in America in the 1990s are now bigger than our regional brewers in the UK. They are absolutely huge, twice the size of, say, my local brewery brains. I'm talking Stone Brewery, I'm talking Sierra Nevada, but they could now be accused of, of being a big brewery that don't care, And but but it's, it's still great beer, it is still great beer. It's about caring for the product that you put out there for, for people to try. And as I say, the beer is good enough and I don't care how big the brewery is. Um, lovely kind of, look at that, it's as big as me. Well, it's as big as me if I hold it there. Um, loads of clove in there, loads of banana, loads of carbon. Look at the carbonation rushing around. I'm going to have to tilt my head right back now and have a sip of this. Mmm. <laughs> That's a mean, mean vice beer. I've tried German vice beers that are that are not as good as this. Um, this from a Swedish company. This is great stuff. Whatever seems to come out of Sweden, whether it's Volvo, whether it's Saab, it all just says to me quality, quality, quality. This review is probably dragging on a little bit, so. I'll give you the website for the brewery. It's www.gotlandsbrewery.se. There you go. If you want to spell it, pause the video now. Or just Google Gotlands Brewery. But my final thoughts and a rating on this lovely looking Hefeweizen. That has got everything a Hefeweizen should have. Everything. And it's coming from a Swedish brewery. It's clovey, malty, it's banana-y, it's, it's drinkable, it's banana milkshake. It's everything you want from a, from, a, from a Weiss beer. This beer, without a shadow of a doubt, gets a 10 out of 10 on the Real Ale Guide. 10 out of 10. Um, thanks for watching me in the Real Ale Guide. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.